Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.12.2. Now please remember this video is brought to you by Game Servers. They're an incredible Minecraft server hosting company that offers DDoS protection, all the stuff you want in a Minecraft server for just $1 per month. Go check them out, first link down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into this video. Now before we can come here and download shaders, we actually need to come here and download Optifine. This is the second link down below and once you're on this page, come here and click on download Optifine. See that right there? Click that, boom, takes us over to the Optifine downloads page where we then want to click on whatever version we want. In my case, I'm going to get the most recent version. We're doing a 1.12.2 tutorial here, right? So we're going to get the most recent version and we want to click mirror, which is right next to the download button right here. And the reason, if we go through this link, we have to go through AdFly, we want to click on mirror right here because that means it takes us directly to the download page. Once you're on the download page, you want to click right in between the ads, right? So we've got three three ads on this page, we want to click right here in the middle on download Optifine underscore 1.12.2 right here in the middle, right? So click on that and it's going to download it. Keep the file, I promise. Optifine is safe, it's been downloaded by millions of people. Come back over here to the third link down below and this is our how to download and install shaders text tutorial so as you can see it goes through all of it and what we want to do is click on download similar shaders right here it's going to take us over to the minecraft form where you have a few options vibrant shaders enhanced shaders there's tons of different ones look through these screenshots and decide which one you want i'm going to be getting enhanced shaders right here and to do that we're going to scroll down and right here it is enhanced default and we're just going to go ahead and and click on that. It's going to take us off to AdFly, where we have to wait five seconds. And the reason we have to wait five seconds is because they need to make a little bit of money for all the work they put in the shaders. So we're going to wait here on AdFly because of that. And then when you're done, click Skip Ad in the top right. Just ignore what's on the page. You just want to click Skip Ad in the top right, and it will immediately take us off to Mediafire. Don't want to do that. Don't care. Download or click out of that. And as we wait, you know, it's not working. There we go. Once we're finally on Mediafire, we can go ahead and click Download right there. And there's shaders downloaded in the bottom right or left. Go ahead and minimize this. Close out of the pop-up it opened. And we're going to install Optifine. So to do this, simply right-click on Optifine. Open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. Click Install. And boom, Optifine is successfully installed. Now, if that doesn't work for you, like you can't open this with... Java TM Platform SE Binary. Go to the, I think it's fourth link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java. Download the most recent version of Java and you'll be able to do that. So that's what the issue is there. Now let's get the shader installed. So this is actually pretty easy. You just want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So if we open up Minecraft here, it's a Minecraft launcher. Now we want to make sure Optifine is selected down here. It should be automatically selected. If it's not though, click the little green arrow and click on the version entitled Optifine. Make sure it is 1.12.2 Optifine. Then you can go ahead and click play and it will open up Minecraft. I'll see you guys on the Minecraft main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's actually really easy to install shaders from here. Just go into options and then go into video settings, shaders, and then all you got to do is click on the shaders folder button down here. This is going to open up the shaders packs folder. Go ahead and minimize Optifine in the background or Minecraft in the background so we can drag shaders, shaders directly in there. You don't have to unzip it. You don't have to do anything like that. Just click on it and drag it in there. And then if we come back to Minecraft, boom, it's already there done. So go ahead, click on it, and it will lag the computer a bit, and it is installed. That easy, guys. You now have shaders. Now, here's the thing. Shaders is going to be very, very resource intensive. Look how beautiful. Look at that swaying of the trees and everything. This is my favorite shaders pack, by the way, because it, it, it just enhances default, right? It doesn't do anything else. Um, I feel like a lot of shaders kind of go over the top, but nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Shaders is a very, very, very resource intensive mod, so keep that in mind whenever you are installing this, that if you don't have a good computer with at least a dedicated graphics card and probably 8 gigabytes, if not 16 gigabytes of RAM, shaders isn't going to be for you. It's just going to lag too much and it's going to make the game unplayable. However, you know, if you got a pretty good PC, I'm currently running shaders with about 60 FPS. If I was to turn on smooth FPS, it's probably about where it would stabilize, which is pretty good. You know, I mean, that's what we're looking at. We're also on a pretty far render distance. I mean, look at that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, if you've got a good computer, you can definitely do it, but just keep that in mind. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome videos five days a week with at least one day a week being Minecraft. So, thank you guys again. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.